Hey guys, Hasib here. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about a landing page that we recently built for a roofing company. This is a landing page we built on Go High Level. As you can see, this is the Go High Level Funnel Builder, and this is awesome. So I'm going to talk about the page. I'm going to talk about what I did, uh, what kind of strategy I used in this page, uh, what elements I used. I'm going to talk about literally everything. I'm going to show you the preview of the page. And obviously, if you want to buy it, you can buy it from uh, landingpages.myleadbuster.com, link in description. And if you want to build it yourself, that's why this video is there so let's talk about this from the top section to the bottom one so let's get started on the header so this is the header as you can see it has a few columns and if you know how the go high level funnel builder works it's a row column based funnel builder uh, it works with blocks rows and columns so as you can see you can create a row from here you can take a four column that's what i used in this so it has one, two, three, four, five columns. The first column has the logo. The second column has a trust badge. The third column has, again, some social proof, how many reviews they have. And obviously 4.8 or 4.9 is more believable than five star. Obviously five star is really great, but it's better if you if you have a 4.9 rather than five because people actually find that more believable, right? Especially if you have a lot of reviews, right? Okay, so uh, they, then the fourth section has, uh, sorry, the fourth column has another trust badge and the fifth one has a final call to action which is phone uh phone call call us right if you look at the mobile design it looks quite different this is the logo with a call to action section over here and it sticks on bottom and scroll what i mean by that is if you look at this on mobile it looks that like um the the section is sticky on bottom as you can see this one so no matter where the user is on this page just need to click on this button below this page and then they'll make a phone call that's the idea of it, having that and obviously this page is sticky to the bottom and scroll and if you go to advanced you can see the visibility is none for desktop so it's not visible on desktop there's no point of having a sticky button on desktop right especially for phone call and this section is a bit uh, about call out headlines i always like putting call out headlines in this uh, in pages because this is the most efficient way i think of conveying more information using small texts because people actually notices this more than the paragraphs right this is the header i don't have anything special here this is just a one column section uh with um, you know some trust badges the main call out headline as you can see i've used a lot of custom values and then roofers who care about your home as much as you do just try to be a bit personal and then this is the survey this is actually a go high level survey i've used as you can see i have used some custom css in it so if you buy it you get the custom css with that as well uh, and um, this is basically asking for a few information i like using surveys rather than forms i've been seeing i've been noticing that people don't like to just leave their name email phone number for nothing if you're asking them questions about the quote or stuff like that they actually feel a bit cared about and then they ultimately leave their details because they think that okay this guy is actually investing his or her time so i think uh, i should leave my details in it right so that's the idea so if i go back to the builder this is a trust badge section lots of columns in it as you can see you can have as many columns as you like but these are the trust badges trust uh, icons i've used basically like gaff certified roofers bbb and uh, ng's list and stuff like that uh, it's not nothing special but these actually subconsciously help people make a decision to leave their details on the page so definitely a must have in the page followed by a testimonial section and uh, these are like a row with two columns in it so this is one column this is the second column and this column has a headline text and an image of five stars and then the actual name of the person right this is another row so i just basically duplicated after creating this row i just had to duplicate it so it gave me this section and i just had to change the content again we are we are using a lot of trust badges in this one and then we have a few things about what they do new roof roof repairs flat roof commercial roof emergency roof repair guttering and uh, you know stuff like that and then this is the footer section that talks about whether they want to get a free quote of the phone call or a form submit it's up to them but we're giving them both another call out headline section as i as you know i like doing that i like putting a lot of call out sections and then this is the footer section which is basically a three column section logo address and contact us information so if i go to the actual desktop preview this is what it looks like and as you can see, it's also 100% responsive on mobile devices because it shows up with the survey first. 
So when they immediately land on the page, they see the survey, they see what they need to do. Their action is quite simple and clear. Make a phone call or submit the form, that's it, or submit the survey, you know? So that's, that's pretty much the idea of having this really high converting landing page. The conversion rate is anywhere between 15 to 30%. And uh, hopefully, depending on the platform, you'll get a similar landing page uh, conversion rate as well if you use this kind of layout, whether buy it or design something similar. But yeah, that's the idea. So that's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.